a linear algebra book with answers to pretty much every single problem. So pretty much every problem has an answer. There's a few that don't have answers. Typically those are questions where they ask you to give examples of matrices and things like that. But for some reason I've noticed that a couple of those are missing. I don't know why the author left those out, but you can see here it has pretty much every answer. Two, three, four, five, okay, six is missing, seven, eight, nine and 10 are missing, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, a couple missing there. So pretty much, pretty much every problem has a solution. I mean, there's quite a few answers here. It's just crazy. And the author does call them solutions to exercises, not like solutions to odd numbered problems. No, no, no. This man really put a lot of effort into this book. Not only that, this is a book for beginners and it is written by someone who taught, and I don't know if he still teaches there, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. And his lectures are available on MIT's OpenCourseWare or on YouTube. So you can just Google the guy's name on YouTube or search on YouTube. You'll find his lectures. There's probably a playlist on YouTube that has all of his lectures. And I'm pretty sure they follow this book. It's the one and only linear algebra and its applications. And it's written by Gilbert Strang. This is the second edition, it's from 1980. The first edition, I believe, was published in 1976. So it's, a, it's an old book, I gotta give it a whiff here. And I'm just really excited to show you this book today, or maybe I've just had too much coffee, but it's rare that you can find a book that has this many exercises and this many answers. Um, it's a great book for self-study, and I don't think I've ever really talked about it. I don't recall making a video on this book or mentioning it. Uh, I've had it for at least five years, maybe more. And this particular copy, I don't recall how much I paid, but I remember I really wanted this book. I remember buying it and thinking, I really want this book and I'm gonna pay a little bit more if necessary because it's the Strang book. I really wanna see what it's all about. It's a wonderful book for beginners. And the point of this book is that Strang wanted to write a book that people could use to learn linear algebra that wasn't so rigorous. It's not a proof-based book. So it's meant for people who are trying to learn linear algebra for the first time, which I think makes it a good book to try, right? So here's a list of topics. So to learn linear algebra, you know, you have to have some basic math skills. Um, the more math you've had, the easier it's going to be. Most schools have like some prereq uh, for linear algebra. Like they'll put in like some arbitrary requirement. Like they'll say, oh, you can't take linear algebra until you take calculus two. I feel like calculus two is often used as like a requirement for certain math courses that have nothing to do with calculus, but they require it because they wanna make sure that people who take the courses have a certain level of what's called mathematical maturity, right? They've seen some math, they've tried to read math books, they've taken some math classes, they've solved a lot of math problems because the more math you do, the better you get at learning new math even has an appendix on the Jordan form, which is pretty cool. Uh, but again, this is a computational based book in some sense. It's not meant to be rigorous. Um, here's what he says about it. It's kind of interesting. I believe that the teaching of linear algebra has become too abstract. This is a sweeping judgment and perhaps too sweeping to be true. But I feel that a text can explain the essentials of linear algebra and develop the ability to reason mathematically without ignoring the fact that this subject is as useful and central and applicable as calculus. It has a simplicity which is too valuable to be sacrificed. I just have to comment on this here that's in italics because this reminds me of uh, an acquaintance I had. He wasn't my friend, he was just a, a very smart guy which I knew and he once told me that he believed that linear algebra was this, right? As, as useful and central and applicable as calculus. He actually thought it was more useful and central and more applicable than calculus. So he went a step further than Strang and he was saying that it, it's, even, it's even a bigger deal. And I asked him why and he said because it just appears everywhere. It appears in calculus, it appears in abstract algebra, it appears in differential equations, it pretty much appears in all fields. You know, linear algebra is one of those subjects that permeates, I think that's the right word, the right word permeates, it shows up in all areas of mathematics. So. Yeah, wonderful book. It's got lots of examples, um, lots of exercises. I just gotta give it a whiff here. Just, oh, it smells really good. Another good thing is you can watch his videos on YouTube, right? And they're free. I've seen some of his lectures, by the way. 
Um, I, I think I've seen like maybe the first one and then like part of the second one. And they're really good. He's got, you know, he writes really clean on the board. Uh, you can just search on YouTube for Gilbert Strang uh, Linear Algebra Lectures. And I'm pretty sure he uses this book. It's been a while since I've looked at the lectures, but so I'm pretty sure you can buy this book and like follow the lectures and you know, take a free course on, on linear algebra. You know, don't spend any money, uh, you know, except the book. Speaking of the book, I'll try to leave a link in the description of this video in case you want to check out this book. Now, there are other good books on linear algebra, right? I'm not saying that this is the best book or anything like that, but I'm just saying it's a book that it's an option. You have answers, you know, to tons of the exercises. And yeah, it's a good choice. As a collector of math books, obviously I have this book and I have like at least, at least a, probably a dozen other linear algebra books that are also they're pretty good. Some are better than others. But this one I, I think is pretty good for beginners. And I think it's a pretty decent choice. So I just wanted to make this video to make you aware of this book. Yeah, pretty nice. And this is the second edition, as you can tell. It's from a long time ago because of, of the cover and stuff. Anyways, if you want to learn other areas of math, actually, I actually don't have a linear algebra course, but I do have other courses, uh, calculus, differential equations, uh, a couple of proof writing courses, abstract algebra, and uh, advanced calculus, but no, uh, no linear algebra yet. I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable platform, but uh, please use the links through my website if you decide you want one of my courses, as it helps me greatly, and I've lowered the prices uh, to make them as low as possible. So if you click those links, you should get a low price. Look at all of this mathematics. Yeah, it's really, really cool book. Really Determinants. It's got a whole chapter on determinants. Cool, right? Very nice. Oh, here, we were talking about we were talking about how linear algebra appears in calculus. Well, here you have the Jacobian determinant, which is the three-dimensional analog of the stretching factor, dx over dx prime is, right, and here it goes out and it talks a little bit about how it applies and multiple integrals and stuff. So it does appear everywhere uh, and it makes linear algebra a beautiful subject. Ooh, the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, that's an important sequence. Very cool. Ah, the golden ratio. Yes, the Greeks thought that was an incredible number. So all, all kinds, all kinds of interesting mathematics uh, in this textbook from the past. It's kind of crazy to think how old this is, right? So this edition is from 1980. It's just kind of shocking how books kind of, uh, I don't know, there's something magical about books, right? They're just, just so much history. You wonder who used this book. Actually, no, because this book came with a, a flyer in there, but I don't want to show it because uh, it has the name of the professor who used this book to teach, so I'm going to leave that out, but yeah, Mount Union College is where he taught. I don't know where that is. I haven't Googled it, but anyways, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Also, I do have a fitness channel. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer, uh, so check that out if you're interested in fitness. Until next time, keep doing mathematics. Take care.